Broadcasting live from the Hilltop Nissan Studios, this is AM 1250 WMTR, a Beasley Media Group station. Now, do off drive. This is WMTR Morristown, and you're inside the do off drive. Do off drive. Another hour of street corner sounds starts right now. Right now. Da -da 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 -da. AM 1250 WMTR, WMTR AM.com, do off drive. I am Alan David Stein, aka The Fool, and I'll explain a little later why once again. But uh, here's something, um, this is great, it's called Love Makes Me Do Foolish Things, and it's a very different sound for a great lady, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Listen to this, you haven't heard this one, this is Duop Drive. AM 1250, WMTR, WMTR, AM .com. I love that. that is Martha Reeves, love that, uh, great lady. Uh, this is Duop Drive, I am Alan David Stein, speaking of great ladies, uh, let's go to Norway. Yes, I'm in love. Sweet Gina and the roommates. When we do our do up around the world, we feature her a lot. And uh, she even from Norway. She knew what I did today. And uh, she uh, she recorded this uh, classic. Yeah, it's all about me. Sweet Gina with the roommates, by the way, not the Kathy Jean roommates. Roommates from uh, from Great Britain. Great stuff on do what drive Gina. I love you. <laughs> 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. This is Doo Wop Drive. I am Alan David Stein, ladies and gentlemen. The late, great James Shepard and the Heartbeats on Doo Wop Drive. <laughs> AM 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. This is Doo Wop Drive. I am Alan David Stein. We are playing the greatest music in the whole wide world. And just about done. I mean, uh, Ron's here is saying, I forgive you, it's okay, get off the thing, you locked yourself out of the, out of the house, so what? Yeah, but I locked myself out of the house, I know, I know. In the meantime, uh, you know something, where is the, uh, I know what we're going to find, we're going to play one more, and uh, I'll play, I know what I'm going to play. Um, how, can you, how can you play a song about being a fool without Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers? That would be against the law. And I know I have it in here. Here we go. I have found it. Ladies and gentlemen, the song that started it all, the kitty sound, Frankie, everything. And happy to bring you that on Doo-Wop Drive. And then uh, we're going to play some stuff from Los Angeles. You don't think that much of L.A. when you think of our music, but you should. Because you're going to hear some uh, great stuff. In the meantime, uh, let's see, are we there? Yes, we are. Uh... Mr. Lyman, thank you. Undo Wap Drive. AM1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com, Do Wap Drive. I am Alan David Stein. I can't wait to get to Lead East on Sunday. 5.30 is the show. It's going to be the Bill Turner Band featuring uh, Bill, who is one of, uh, how about Bill Haley in the Comets? Yes. A group called Desire, who I'll be honest, I have never worked with, never heard. All I know is Charlie Horner said they're great. Do you need anything else? No. That's there it is. That's exactly, that's, uh, that's enough, uh, your music authority over there. Uh, also, uh, we will have uh, Jerry L. He's an Elvis impersonator. He was here last week. He'll be doing two sets. One is the 50s Elvis, the other is the uh, Vegas Elvis. That's going to be great. And our friend Mike Mastalone, you know him as the lead singer of the Whip Tones. And you also uh, have maybe seen him. If you've never seen him do a solo act, you want to be there. You want to be at Let East. You want to be there at 5.30 for the show Sunday night. And uh, here, here's Mike uh, singing lead as he does uh, with the whip tones doing the drifters thing. Fools fall in love. Yeah, of course. even he thinks I'm a fool. There you go. Yeah, this is great stuff. I can't wait for Sunday. I want to see you there.
1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. I'm Alan David Stein, uh, joined here by the guy who uh, couldn't get to ladies today because I locked myself out of the house. It's okay, I'll be there tomorrow. Yes, I'll be there Sunday. Be so there. what do we just... I yeah. had that other car show this weekend. Uh, so. Yeah, it's well, yeah. okay. Uh, There's plenty of room. What, what do we just hear? A guy yeah. named Frankie Love. It's his real name, of course. Yeah, Probably. Frankie. Yeah, because Frankie because Love, right? Yeah, first Star, it's called. Interesting track. I know very little about it, except I think he's from Philadelphia. Oh, yes. And, uh... I got a couple more goodies yeah. we'll get to in the course yeah. next hour. And, uh, do you want to talk about what we have next coming up? No, I'd rather back sell it and uh, let people be surprised. Mm -hmm. Actually, we could do it. Okay. Uh, originally, uh, it was by the, um, Dan Lears. Mm -hmm. There's also a version by Solomon Burke. Ooh. These will be the Elgins. It's we'll a, hear the song and we'll find the title. It's a beautiful thing. That's not the title. That's coming up. This is Do Watt Drive. You are listening to WMPR's Million Dollar Weekend, playing the hits of the 50s, 60s, and 70s all weekend long. Another classic oldie is coming up right around the bend, right here on AM 1250 WMPR. Hey, I'm 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com, do I Drive. I am Alan David Stein, and he is your music authority, Ron Farber. What have we listened to? Again, those were the Elgins, not the Motown Elgins, who did Heaven Must Have Sent You, but right. another group. And that was another version of Picture of You, which originally was the Dan Lears, the one Summer Night guys. <clears throat> it's amazing to me how they got away. And you know, you know, you've been in the music industry, the record industry. How do these groups get away with... You know, just so many uh, with the same name. I mean, like, all right, just open this uh, page here. Let's see. There's the, uh, all right, the Flares. We have one, two, three, four, five different Flares groups. The Flames, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine Flames groups. Yeah, well, for some reason, it seems to be easier to duplicate a name than to duplicate the title of a song. Okay. Because then sometimes you run into copyright deals. But the names, they usually do it. Sometimes they make changes. There was a group in England many years ago called the Birds, B-I-R-D-S, and that's why the American group, which became so big, had to spell it B-Y-R-D-S. Right. But especially in the doo-wop era, though, it's like, it's oh. amazing. I mean, even names that aren't, or here's Leopards 1, Leopards 2, you know, there's... <laughs> Alan, another yeah. reason is because uh, most of those songs were regional hits. That's right, there was no, in interview, York, no internet Austin, back then. Boston, Philly, Pittsburgh, yep. what have you. They weren't national records. On a national level, you pretty much had to clear the name. So the Leopards in uh, Albuquerque had no idea there was a Leopards in uh, Boston or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. There you go. All right, what do we have next? Okay, Alan David Stein or Alan David Fool for today? Uh, now we're done with the Fool stuff. Okay. Until I lock myself <laughs> out of the plane again. I don't know why you and uh, the, the, the little lady don't have two sets of keys. We do. I left mine right, in the... Well, uh, the I don't yeah. think that'll happen again, Fool. Oh, yeah. That, that, funny, that topic came up. So... <laughs> Back in the 50s, there was a guy out of Los Angeles named Buck Ram. He was a manager, songwriter, sure. he's the one that created the Platters. He wrote a lot of songs like this, the original version of uh, Adorable. These were the Colts from L.A., later covered by the uh, Drifters, but yep. this is the first version, Adorable. Thing. And it was the early Drifters who uh, covered it, the Correct. Platters right. Drifters. All right, first we have to uh, make ourselves official. And then uh, the Colts, great stuff. This is Duop Drive. Broadcasting live from the Hilltop Nissan Studios, this is Duop Drive. Adorable, 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 baby. Adorable, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. The Colts AM 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. This is Duop Drive. I am Alan David Stein, and uh, great choice. Thank you, Ron Farmer. Now we have a uh, request for Irwin and Lorraine in Springfield. These are the plurals from Belleville. This is their one and only. Oh, great song. And it's very similar, and it was taken from actually a Clover song called Hey Miss Fanny. And people, by the way, who, are, who were members of the United Group Harmony Association, immediately they're going to think of Bobby and Patty dancing. Miss Annie. Yes. Hey, I'm 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. Do Op Drive. I am Alan David Stein. And I've been talking all night about, uh, I can't wait, uh, I'm supposed to be there today, but uh, Sunday uh, I'll be at Lead East at the Parsippany Hilton. I'll be emceeing that incredible show that's happening at 5.30, and I wish I was there today. And now to tell me what I missed, 
Fred Wolf, one of the uh, partners in Lenny's. East. Freddie, how are you? I'm doing good, Alan. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds uh, like, uh, I guess you went in a different room before, like when we tried to speak, it was like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> everything I'll, I'll walk in there while the, while the groups are playing. We have, tonight, we have the, uh, the Dimensions, the Capris, the Fireflies, and Echoes of Time. Cool. Oh. And right now, I'm standing in front of Doo-Wop Radio. That's right. Joe at Doo-Wop Radio is here doing a live broadcast. Great, and uh, so see, we're both on now. And uh, yeah, tell Joe right. I look forward Absolutely. to meeting him on, because uh, we spoke when I was in Florida. I look forward to uh, meeting him on, uh, it'll be Sunday, obviously, so it's, it's yeah. going to be uh, it's gonna be great. Oh, with the dimensions, please go up, say hi to Robin, who's a gal in the group uh, from me. We're good friends. I, I certainly him. will. Yeah. So uh, tell me, uh, everything's, uh, the weather seems to have cleared a little bit, thank God. And, well, uh, the, weather, the weather was kind of kind of wet not long ago but it seemed to clear up and uh if you bear with me for just a minute i'm going to walk out to the sock hop okay what's going on out there we've got uh oh we've got the group there out there dancing cool you can probably hear the music now and uh, well, sounds of the street are playing outside here and they were afraid that nobody would be out here dancing because it's so wet. But let me tell you something, they're having a great time. That, that is great. And you have uh, yeah, some acapella groups walking around like always, I'm sure. But, uh, I didn't catch it. I said, I'm sure you have some acapella groups walking around like not like Oh, you. yeah. Well, they're, yeah, they're, uh, they're out there having a great time. We've got uh, a Friday night dance party going on right now uh, that's doing fantastic. Uh, maybe the weather even helped us out, Alan, because uh, everybody's inside having a great time. Great. And now tomorrow, uh, you have I mean, when, when do you have the uh, Lou doing the uh, how to dance the uh, to this music? Oh yeah, we have yeah how to dance fifties. We have dance lessons uh, tomorrow night. Uh, we have uh, a country line dance party. Okay. Uh, hosted by the DJ from the Colorado Cafe, Watch on New Jersey. Uh, it should be a heck of a time. A real, oh, I can't say that word on, on the radio, but you know what I mean. It's that blank flag kicking time. Oh, okay. Uh, we can say Tucker's kicking. Kick That's all. Or no, no, actually, no. It's um, it's just watch where you walk kicking kind of thing. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Watch where you walk kicking time. Right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but, and and, and but, uh, that's a compliment for the music, yeah. It's really happening here. It's absolutely fantastic. We're having a wonderful time. There, there are vendors here uh, selling everything. John Diagostino is here from California. Listen, here he is. <laughs> Hi, John. He's here, and he's going to give away his Crystal Award. Uh, unbelievable trophy. Uh, unreal. And he's going to go select it. He's walking around kind of incognito, but I'm sure people know who he is. Yeah, and the car, I'm sure the car is, the one winner. car is more incredible so than the next. Everybody who has a car here yeah. has the opportunity to have John pick them as the winner for his Crystal Award. All right, well, tell John, please, do not give out the award till he sees my 2013 Avalon. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't think it's going to uh, win. Yeah. Uh, there is everything, in everything imaginable here. There is memorabilia from, from the 1940s to the 1970s. It is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, you know, it, it, it occurred to me. And, yeah. Oh, man, it's great. It occurred to me, something very personal. Everybody has their idea of what heaven is. For most of us, What's that? I said it's a personal thing, but everybody always has this idea in their mind of what heaven is. For most of us, Lead East is it. Can you, uh, somebody's saying it sounds like there's a calliope right there. Yeah. Where are you now? I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over by the, the ballroom door so you can kind of hear some of the music. Okay. Over the rainbow. Oh really? That, they're singing over the rainbow now. You hear? It? Yes. Oh. Oh yeah. Absolutely incredible. I love it. That is great, great stuff, and a great group. All righty. So uh, tomorrow, what are the hours tomorrow and uh, Sunday? Oh, on Sunday, our Sunday lineup is is incredible. 
the Bill Turner Band yep. is going to be that that's rock around the clock, Bill Turner. Great, absolutely. And Michael Mastalone solo, unbelievable. I can't wait. And Desire. And world renowned Jerry L will be there. Yeah, who was on the air with us last week? You and know, got, a, a, hey, listen, ladies, he's got plenty of stars. We'll <laughs> be handing them out. There you go. And, you know, it's funny. I had, I, I'll be very honest. I said this on the air. I'll say it to you. As, and I said it to you before. I have never seen, I don't really know Desire. And uh, I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, I call him the keeper of the flame, Charlie Horner. And he said, oh, yeah, I know them. They're great. That's all you need to hear, everybody. Yeah. So there, there it is. That's uh, going to be great. And what are the hours for ladies tomorrow and Sunday? The total hours. I know the show, the show Sunday is 530. I'm sorry? 9 a.m. To midnight. Okay. And the concert tomorrow is, is going to be at 7 p.m. So it'll run from 7 to 10. The concert tickets tomorrow are reserved seating $65. General admission is $55. Right. And for the Sunday show, it's a. Sunday it, show, yeah. $35 reserved, $25 general admission. Great. What a great show. And very affordable. Yes. And it's going to be just, it's an experience you, you always remember. So I can't wait. I will not, I promise, will not repeat, will not repeat, will not lock myself out of the house on Sunday. If, if so, I'm getting on 287 and hitchhiking up there. <laughs> All right. Well, and, and you guys from... You don't lock yourself out of the house anymore. Exactly. And from what I, I understand, you know, you guys, it's your first year with, uh, you know, new management and everything. You're part of it. And I'm hearing very good things that it's, you know, it's uh, kind of, a, it's back to being the warm and fuzzy thing. We always wanted it to be. Yes, it is. That's what it is. It's a family event, and we're really making it uh, a, a very pleasant experience for anyone. We have a flea circus tomorrow, and you should see these people. Unbelievable. They keep the fleas in, in a trailer, and then they bring them out, and they perform for everybody. Talk about a diva. A flea has a trailer. I mean, uh, come on. Is it? Why not? Yeah, a flea circus. I love it. So bring the children. We have drive-in movies outside, and we have inside movies. So that kind of helped us a little bit. We showed American Hot Rod, Hot Wax, and uh, Hot Rods to Hell. Oh, I, oh, I remember that with Dana, with Dana Andrews. And American Hot Wax was, it's a very fictionalized, but a wonderful uh, story about Alan Freed. And what's great about it, two things. Um, first of all, uh, there's a scene where his secretary and his driver are kissing and making out. And what's so special about that? You're seeing Fran Drescher and Jay Leno making out, which is wild. <laughs> and the guy who was the musical director. Uh, he, uh, he's in there with his group. The group is the first time he ever saw him. This is where the name came from. The Planetones. Kenny Vance was in. Right. Yes. So I remember that movie, 1977. It was a great movie. That's right. Anyway, gotta run. I can't okay. wait for Sunday. And uh, it's, uh, so it's, uh, you know, all day, both days, great concerts. And uh, Fred, just thank you for putting this on. Oh, you're welcome. And, and don't forget, the absolutely amazing Alan Davidstein will be emceeing our Sunday show. I can't wait. I really can. And you know something? That sounds like fun. Let's do it again next week. We will. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fred, thank you so much. And, I don't think I'll be covered by that time. Yeah, right. And uh, I'll send you, uh, I'll be texting you what we talked about and everything, and this is going to be fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome, man. All right. You got it. Fred Thank Wolf. Thank you so much. All right. Have fun. Fred Wolf from uh, Lent East. What an event. If you don't go, why? Why? This is Classic Oldies, WMDR, New Jersey's doo-wop authority. <laughs> AM 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. This is Doop Drive. I am Alan David Stein. And uh, I hope management appreciates this. I mean, you talk about uh, being dedicated. You know how hard it is not to just sign off and just go to Ladies right now after that interview? Well, it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there. This is. What, what, what? Didn't talk what, what? Song. We didn't talk. Oh. Um, the Delarks. Oh, yes, the Delarks. You just did. Remember, uh, it's good if you put the mic in front of you, right? Oh, I didn't know. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. Sorry. The Del Larks. No relation to Del Lord, who was the producer for the uh, Three Stooges. 
This is Duop Drive. Hi, everybody. This is Lenny Dell of the Dimensions. You're listening to Duop Drive with Alan David Stein on AM 1250, WMTR, and WMTRAM.com. Lenny, you and the Dimensions, you guys are fantastic. Whenever I hear your signature song, I feel like I'm in the land of Oz. In fact, if I sang with the Dimensions, everybody would feel like they're in Oz. Somewhere over the rainbow. Alan, stop. Well, Just stop. So, when I sing, do you feel like you're in Oz? Why is it there's never any flying monkeys around when you need them? live from the Hilltop Nissan Studios, Classic Oldies, WMTR Morristown, a Beasley Media Group station. Broadcasting live from the Hilltop Nissan Studios, this is AM 1250 WMTR, a Beasley Media Group station. Now, do off drive. Please welcome, from the Bronx, the Belmont. Come on, New York Yankees, time to Great song from the Cufflings. Gus Gossett used to play that a lot. Your music authority has joined us. That's a Ron classic. Farmer. That's yes. an absolute classic from yes. way back. We. Gus would play it. Murray the K played it. And I believe Alan Freed played it as well. Uh, the three, and <laughs> I know Jocko used to play it. Ooh, Bapa Yeah, my man Jock. I still, I still love and absolutely love. In fact, I think I'm going to play the song. Okay, I'm going to call an audible here on what we've uh, been doing. Um... You ever see the movie Jamboree? 
Oh, yeah, with all the re recording stars. All the recording stars. And all the, rec and all the early disc jockeys, including Dick Clark. Right, Dick Clark. And, not, and, and, and I always thought it was kind of, uh, you know, a little, I don't know, very vanilla, very, you know, more pop than doo-wop. Then out of nowhere, Jocko with the uh, space helmet on. Right. And he's like, he you know... call it the rocket ship show. Uh, yeah, he, exactly. And he did... I don't remember the time slots, but he did a show every day in both New York and Philly. Right. And there was not like today where, you know, we could be on anywhere. And he also had a television show where he appeared in it. It was like a dance party. It yeah. was on Channel 13 before they were PBS. Wow. And, yeah, and uh, I think he had one in Philly, too, probably. Of course, he had to. Yeah, and uh, then he was, you know, oop, up, and down. He did his whole bit. And then you saw Louis Lyman and the Teen Chords. Yes. And it's just a magnificent version that they did with the choreography and everything. It's like vintage. It's called Jamboree. You'll hear Louis Lyman do this. And 1250 WMPR, WMPRAM.com on Duop Drive. I'm Alan David Stein, and uh, he is your music authority. Yes, he is, and yes, I am. Hi. Yes, Ron Farber. Hi. Hi, and, uh, and uh, never thought we'd end up doing this together today. You were supposed to be at Led East. I was supposed to be at Led East today. I got locked out of the house. We never met up, and look what's happening. Well, I'll we be at Led East tomorrow, and, you'll be, and I'll be there Sunday, and you'll be there Sunday. So yeah, yeah. Out. I'll be working at Sunday. Except it's going to be fun. going on all weekend, folks. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Real cool events. Anyway, really what did you just hear, this uh, version of Why Don't You Write Me? Those were the feathers. Johnny okay. Stanton and the Feathers, and that was at the oh, same... Oh, Johnny, as in Johnny Darling, Johnny Stanton, and, yeah. And that was at the same time as the hit version by the Jacks. Right, who were also the cadets who did Rockin' in the Jungle, or not uh, Rockin', uh, Stranded in, in the Jungle. jungle. But exactly. L.A. record all the way, and we're going to hear another Los Angeles group now, a group called The Strands, How Will I Know. Okay, you got it. This Lot is, Drive. I just said that. AM 1250 WMTR, I love that. Uh, who, who have we just... Uh, the Strands. Yes, and uh, I, I love that floating falsetto with the uh, Los, who in the background. That's great. Yeah, another Los Angeles act. There are quite a few out there. Interesting. And nobody thinks of L.A. when they think of doo-wop. It's always, you know, well, New York, Philly, people, Pittsburgh. Yeah, you can remember, L.A. had uh, lots of groups, the Medallions, the right. Penguins, and go on and on. Yes. And a guy named Johnny Otis recorded a lot of great stuff. We'll hit one of his things a little later, maybe. I had the honor of meeting him way back in the day. It's first, uh, first day, when I actually went for my interview at uh, K-Sugar Radio, KSGR in Phoenix. It was my first job. It was an oldie station. And I walked into the studio, and the guy who... I was replacing, actually, was interviewing Johnny Otis. So I'm like, this is going to be a fun job. Wow. But, yeah. How so, long did that job last? Uh, a year. It was a year. Until the station was sold, and the new owner said, everybody is safe not to worry. And what, what kind of radio uh, format were you doing? And by, it was oldies. And then, by the way, after they said everybody's safe, literally, from the general manager to the guy who cleaned the toilet, gone. Goodbye. So. The nature of the beast. That's very true. So, uh, anyway, uh, what do we have? What's we doing? Group called the Crescendos. I don't think it's the Hey Julie Crescendos. Okay, see, like we talked about, how many different... Uh, yeah, here we go again. Yeah. My Heart's Desire. All right, this is Duop Drive. If I... What a fun... What a fun you got great ears. I mean, great, great fun. AM 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com, Duop Drive. I'm Alan David Stein. He is Ron Farber, a.k.a. Some people call me the music authority. They, I thought it's your... Yeah, music. well, that's why I changed it to... Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, I didn't want to be a V. I wanted yeah. to be an, a your. Yep. And by the way, that is definitely, we checked, uh, not the old Julie crescendos. It's no. another crescendo. No, there's a lot of, again, as you said earlier, a lot of times... There's three... Take the same names. Three crescendos groups. And, In fact, one of them, wait, is there only three? Uh, no, there's four, uh, five, six. There's six of them, including one that spells it. C R E S C H E N D O S. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah, and you realize that this, and the titles alone, there's at least five or six different, uh, different songs within this genre of doo wop yeah. called Dream Girl. Oh, yeah. Someday we'll hit a whole bunch of them. We'll do that. That's, yeah, of course, the one we all know. And if Pam Nardella is listening, it's her song talking about Norman Fox and the Rob Royce. Mm -hmm. I actually, now I was going to say, speaking of LA, he lives there now, but he's definitely in New York. Uh, oh, New York all tank. the way. He, yeah, and the best. We will be right back. We have more coming up. This is Doo-Wop Drive. And more, I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, upcoming concerts over the next few days. 
busy weekend. You are listening to WFDR's Million Dollar Weekend, playing the hits of the 50s, 60s, and 70s all weekend long. Another classic oldie is coming up right around the bend, right here on AM 1250 WMTR. AM 1250 WMTR, WMTRAM.com. And uh, this is the Up Drive. I'm Alan David Stein, uh, Ron Farber. What? Alan, that was again the ghost in your machine. Yes. Alan had the next track lined up. It played that one instead. That was a guy named I'm going to be banished. To, how about this? I'm going to be banished to Kansas City, Kansas City. Here I come. Yeah, well, here's what? the Kansas City man himself, Wilbert Harrison, on a great track. His school starting next week. It's called Hey, Little School Girl. Oh, wait, is this the... Uh Paragon Chester's one, or no different song, different song Same title. I Here love it. Again. Here we go. This is do on. Oh, well, you know what? It's bottom of the hour, so uh, we need to do our little uh, uh, thingy here in uh, into uh, Wilbert Harrison, and <clears throat> let's uh, let's make it official. Thank you. Broadcasting live from the Hilltop Nissan Studios. This is Do Wop Drive. Bum 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 bum. bum. AM 1250, WMTR, WMTRAM.com. We're talking about songs, same title, different song. That was Hey, Little School Girl. This is Hey, Little School Girl on Doo Wop Drive. <laughs> WMTR, WMTRAM.com. Oh, this thing, uh, what do we call this? I believe doo -wop Drive. I am Alan David Stein. Joined, uh, thanks to me, uh, it's a long story, uh, losing my keys today. <laughs> but uh, we're supposed to meet at Led East. I never got there. So he's here, your music authority, gonna, Ron Farber. and going to uh, change it to Alan David Find. Uh, find, find yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, no, I knew what they were. I knew exactly where they were. They were on the little hutch by our door where we put the keys about six inches from the door, which was locked. You had a hutch. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so this was a group called the Dynamics, another L.A. West Coast thing. No, 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 no relation to the group that uh, Joel is singing with now. No, no, different, different. Okay. Joel has a lot of names for all his different incarnations, his different groups, and some yeah. of them have been used by others as well. But they're all great. That's Joel amazing. does such great work. Who yep. can say anything less? Exactly. He's exactly. an incredible singer and a good guy. Yes. So, uh... I've said. Well, enough said. Um, break time, isn't it? It's break time. Let's all go to the lobby. Right, here's a surprise for you, because I, I, I got this wrong. What you're about to hear, the next song, this is not the Cleftones. Really, listen. This is Classic Oldies, WMDR, New Jersey's doo-wop authority. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'm 1250 WMTR, Tell the folks, Ron, who that was. Mr. DeMucci, Mr. Attitude, Dion. Oh, wow. With, guess who must be singing in the background? Well, it's not the Belmont, so it's got to be the Del Satins. Absolutely. Stands this guy and the guys. Did I ever tell you the story of how I was lucky enough, when I was in college radio, to be invited to New York for Buddha Records' debut of a brand new act? It turned out it was the Brooklyn Bridge, the first time they ever performed. No, I didn't know that. Wow. There was wow. a club called Nepenthe in Midtown. This is right. 1967. Mm -hmm. And suddenly they're singing, and I'm going nuts because I realized that's Johnny Maestro doing lead. Yeah. They were totally unknown, and the next thing is the worst that could happen came out. They were a hit act, and they went to did, the bank. Did they do any of their songs from, you know, that they would be known for later on? or was The it worst that could happen. Oh, they did it they that did night. It, they did it that night. Wow. They did a couple other things, and it was like, and I had no idea who it was or what it was, but I was a college radio kid in the area. It was free food, a trip to New York, you know, with the big record guys, etc., etc. And Johnny Maestro. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, and, and later I learned, of course, that the background guys, the rest of the group, were the Del Satins. Mm hmm Incredible. Yeah. Very incredible. Uh, we're going to go back to the West Coast. 
And a question, is it Marvels or Marvels? I think the Marvels. Okay. And uh, anything you can tell us about this? No, I don't know much about it except it's a good, one of those cool little ballads from Los Angeles. A cool little ballad from Los Angeles. It sounds like, uh, sounds like a, ro a rom-com or something, but uh, here we go. The Marvels on Do Wop Drive. I love that floating falls in there. AM 1250 WMTRWMTRAM.com. WMTRAM.com. This is Do Wop Drive. I am Alan David Stein. You are Ron Farber, your music authority. And you're playing a lot of your favorite uh, groups from uh, the West Coast. Yeah, LA I figured we'd give you a little taste of some Los Angeles unknown quality doo-wop. May I give you a sample of some known quality doo-wop, uh, my favorite group from, uh, from L.A.? By all means. Yes, and they're not from Toronto, even though they are called the Blue Jays. Oh, love, I think AM 1250 WMTR WMTRAM.com Joining us uh, Your music authority That is Ron Farber I'm Alan David Stein And uh, Blue Jays a group The lead singer Leon Peel yep. No relation to Mrs. Peel From the event Oh really No at all Okay And no relation to uh, I was one of those guys Who had a Diana Rick thing you're an she animal. Is so nice. You're an animal, and I'm very proud of you. But <laughs> there you go. I remember the Avengers, and uh, she didn't age well, by the way. If you see what she looks like now. Great actress. So yes, she yes. had what it took. And the uh, I'm blanking out. The guy who played Mr. Steed was Patrick McNee. Right. Who also played young Jacob Marley in the 1951 version of A Christmas Carol. And he also played the chauffeur in one of the Bond movies with James Bond. Really? With uh, Roger Moore, rather starring. Is that Bond. I didn't know. You see yeah, that? I got killed off in it. Lynn, Lynn are, are we killing you yet between the two of us with this stuff? Yes, he's on. Mm -hmm. Lynn turns into lurch. We're about to go into the, your last break? Yeah, we're going to go into a break and uh, come back. Can and, I uh, do, do a, a little cliffhanger? What's coming up? So, go ahead. Hang from the cliff. Coming up, we have a work coming up. Next is going to be a track by a group. Well, we'll, we'll surprise you. We'll back sell it then. But the lead singer went on to be the manager of ZZ Top Made a Fortune, but he did do up out of Texas in 1959. Pre-ZZ Top. Did he have the beard down to his... Uh, no, no, no. He did not. Okay. We'll do redneck that. look. Now, this is Doo-Wop Drive. Okay. AM 1250 WMTRWMTRAM.com. Yeah, I know we didn't do much about school starting this week. We'll do that in the coming weeks. But uh, we can bring it up by a group. I love the name of this group. It's in the, it's, they're from the Midwest. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Farber? Uh, the record was a hit in the Midwest. I don't remember where they're from. The Pixies 3 is the act. What we just heard just now was Bill, Bill Ham and the Vandells in Dream On. Okay. And uh, now the Pixies 3 with 442 Glenwood Avenue. I knew somebody who lived there. That's right. I like that. AM 1250 WMTRWMTRAM.com. I am Alan David Stein. We're on Farber. Thank you for talking about impromptu fun. That was uh, yeah, great. Yeah, fun, whatever. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Great weekend for cars and great rock and roll in the area. That is correct. I will see some of you tomorrow night down in Ocean Grove for that incredible show at the auditorium. I will see a whole bunch of you uh, at Let East on Sunday. I'll be uh, walking around most of the day and then uh, 5.30. Incredible show with Bill Turner, uh, his group from... Uh, he was with Bill Haley and the Comets. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Also, a desire who, again, all I had to know is Charlie Horner said they're great. He's the keeper of the flames. He knows, so they'll be great. Uh, Jerry L. with two sets as the 50s Elvis and the Vegas Elvis. That's going to be a blast. And, yep, Mike Mastalone doing his solo show. And if you haven't seen this, he was the uh, lead singer of the Whip Tones. You, I mean, unbelievable. As always. I'd like to, uh, well, thank you for the quickest, definitely quickest three hours of my week, as especially after today with the uh, car, the door lock. Uh, also, uh, as always, I dedicate this show to the memory of two people without whom I wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be here, the great Gus Gossert, and my good friend Ronnie. I miss him every day. It's going to be this, I think it's going to be the first Lady East that I've been to, I haven't been in years, that Ronnie wasn't at, so, well. But anyway, see you, yeah, go to Lady East, unbelievable time. Have a great time, everybody. This is WMTR Morristown. Have a great week. I'll see you at these shows. Let's keep this music rolling. Hot the tomatoes. Here's Mr. Earl Lewis. <laughs>